the uh, people in Sweden implanting, uh, putting implants, microchips, right, yes. into them. We've seen something like this here. There's um, there's a company that they yeah. right, so they could get stuff out of the vending machine yeah. with these microchips. So what's happening in Sweden? So basically, in Sweden, over the past couple of years, several thousand people have had these little rice grain-sized microchips put into their hands, which contain information that they can use to, say, check into the gym or get into the office or uh -huh. pay for train tickets. Right. So on the one hand, everyone can appreciate that that's convenient, right? How many times have you been looking for your key fob at the gym or can't remember yeah. your password for something? Um, but I think the bigger question here is, look. As the human body itself becomes a technological platform, right? There are big questions we need to consider about what kind of information is put out about us uh, from us, quite literally, and right. also <laughs> further down the line, what kind of access do other people or platforms have to that information that is inside us? Right? This yeah. is a biotech question. This kind of blurring of the lines between the human body and tech. I mean, it's one thing if you're holding your smartphone and instead of emitting data about you, it's another thing if your own hand is doing the same thing. So, the, like, 3,000 people signed up for this. Are they not as concerned about hacking and privacy and all the things that we can't stop talking about over here? Yeah, polls show that actually um, Sweden um, is one of the countries where concerns about misuse of data is actually lower than, than other countries in, in Europe. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. This is 3,000 people. This is a, a small experiment. It's been developing over the past several years. Um, but as the information that these microchips contains gets more elaborate and more detailed, uh, people may start to change their mind. And, and demand more protection of their private.